Hello students, I'm going to do a quick uh, introductory lesson on how to embed a graph from a program called GeoGebra into a Word document. I'm first going to start here on our website and we're going to scroll down from MrLoki.com. I've put all my tech resources on one page here and under tech re resources you'll notice that there's a link for GeoGebra software. That'll take you to uh, geogebra.org where you can download it. There's a couple of versions. One will just launch it from the web if you don't have rights to install. Uh, and But the web start here will actually install it on your computer. It runs in JavaScript so it will run on any uh, platform. So uh, I'm going to go back to uh, a Word document to give you a little context here. So I've written up a sample problem statement here for just basically the cookie problem. And then I've sort of the first part of the solution where I've organized myself with a table. And then down here I want to insert a graph. So I've got those equations which I'll want to hold on to, uh, or inequalities. And we're going to graph the lines just for this um, example. So I'm going to flip over to GeoGebra. When you launch it, this is what it looks like. You get a graph. You can grab the handle here and move all the way around the screen. Okay. We're going to slide this down into the lower left corner because we only need the first quadrant for this type of problem. Uh, next we're going to turn on some things that will help us here. Just a couple quick orientation. I can turn on a grid which will make it kind of nice to see our solutions. You can also turn on and off axes if you want to do uh, geometric constructions. So uh, I'm going to take some of those constraints and you can just type them down into this bar. We're going to have to substitute x's for y's, I'm oh, sorry, uh, x's for p's and y's for i's. So if I go back to um, my example here, the first variable p is going to be x and the second variable i will be y. So our first constraint is going to be p, or y, x, sorry, x plus 0.7y is equal to 110. It can't graph inequality, so we're going to graph the lines and then we could shade later. Now, notice it goes into the ob uh, free objects up here, and we can't see it because the axes need to be changed. So if you just pull down, you should be able to get to a point where you, where you see the graph now. It's grabbing the axes, and then you can shift things around. Same thing on the x-axis. I just need to click right on it and pull in until I can see the graph. Next, I'm going to graph the, the subsequent ones, uh, 0.4y equals 32, just put a line there, 0.1x plus 0.15y is equal to uh, 15, and finally x plus y is equal to 140. That should connect the points of 140 and 140. All right. Um, if I did want to uh, graph a feasibility region, uh, I would simply want to grab this uh, polygon tool. Uh, that would be the easiest part. And then it's probably okay just to eyeball the intersections here. You could also do points of intersection. Uh, but for the purpose of our work here, just closing it up. Don't forget to close it up. Uh, we'll shade a feasibility region just fine. So let's say we wanted to get this graph into... <clears throat> excuse me, into Word, we might want to think about increasing the font size a little bit. So just a quick little thing, if you kind of start exploring around, um, there is a way for us to increase uh, font size. Let's see if we can find that. It's under Options, Font Size. I usually kick it up to about 20. Okay, a little bit more readable. When the graph is exactly as we want to have it, move the handle here, there's a feature under the file menu that says, I'm sorry, edit menu is graphics view to clipboard. Whatever you see in the graph will be copied. As soon as I copy it, it's on the clipboard, and I can flip back over to my Word document, and now wherever I want it, I can go um, up to the insert menu and choose paste, or I'm just going to hit control V for paste. It's going to pop down on the next page but that's fine. Generally if you have it fill most of the screen then you can just continue typing below the, the figure. 
If you want to write or left justify, I'd recommend just doing a quick Google search on how to get into the properties. Things that are missing from this graph, labeled axes, uh, labeled lines in the equations, uh, and uh, that would complete the graph, but I wanted to just focus on the process here. So I've got a written document for a math assignment, shows me how to get the equations, and then I've used GeoGebra to graph the equations of the lines. If there are any further questions, please don't hesitate to send me a note uh, or uh, communicate with me via Moodle. Thank you.